Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to Tag Girls Talks channel. Today I present you a new episode. Specifically, I will give you five strong biotech stocks for 2021. So this is part two of the series. And uh, in this, I will give you the strong biotech stocks and they have excellent momentum as well and good growth. So I think it definitely pays to watch that video until the end with me. Have a look at all of these stocks. So before I start right off with the first strong biotech stock, um, I have to make a short disclaimer. This video does not constitute financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only. So please consider that. And also one more quick note. Please subscribe now to my channel with the link in the description below so that going forward you do not miss any market leading stocks from me. So please subscribe now. Okay, so that was it for the intro. So let's start right off with the first biotech stock for 2021. And it is RCUS, Arcos Biosciences. Here you can see the longer term chart of Arcos. And as you can see, Arcos was a recent IPO in March 2018. Ah, one quick note. I always look at the IPO dates because I, because um, after their IPOs, the stocks make in their first 10 years, 95% of their future uh, super performance is happening in their first 10 years after their IPO dates. So it definitely pays if you watch out for young companies after their IPOs with strong growth and strong momentum characteristics. Okay, so after its IPO, Arcos uh, had a down move, downtrend here, and it made its low in August 2019 in that downtrend, and it reversed from that low tr and traded to the upside. And now we form the, let's say, volatile uptrend in Arcos since then. The short-term chart we can see as well here we had a volatile phase here volatile down phase but then we reversed and now it looks like we are building a shorter term uptrend in Arcos Biosciences when we look at the growth characteristics for Arcos the EPS growth is not the strongest it's minus 30 percent but the sales growth is super strong with 1794 percent and the relative strength rating is okay as well, or is very good as well with 94. So I think Arcos is also a strong biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so that was it for Arcos. Now let's have a look at the next biotech stock for 2021. And it is FATE, Fate Therapeutics. Here you can see the longer term chart of FATE. And as you can see, FATE was an IPO in September 2013. And yeah, after its IPO, it traded sideways for quite some time and then had a down move, but a shorter term downtrend. But it could recover from that downtrend and form a nice and strong uptrend since then. The short term chart, you see an uptrend here. And you can see as well, as well recently, we have been accelerating to the upside in fate therapeutics very strongly and here we had a bounce of the um, 30 day moving average and now we came back to the 30 day as well so it could hold or maybe we could find support at the 40 or 50 day moving average so i think soon there could be an attractive entry point for fate coming when we look at the growth characteristics and the eps growth is good with 34 percent the sales growth is very strong with 153 percent and the relative relative strength rating is also way good with 94 so i think fate is definitely a way strong biotech stock for 2021 okay so that was it for fate now let's have a look at the next biotech stock for 2021 and it is CDNA, Carat, Carat, Carat X. Sorry, I cannot spell it. CDNA. Yeah, here we can see the long-term chart of CDNA. 
And as you can see, it was an IPO in 2014, July. After its IPO, yeah, it moved into a downtrend and it made its low in May 2017 with that downtrend. And then it reversed from that low and traded strongly to the upside and formed a nice and new strong uptrend. And recently here we had a consolidation phase as well. A longer term consolidation and sideways moving phase. But recently, September 2020, we could break out of that sideways moving consolidation phase and trade strongly to the upside. And that is what we see here in the short term chart, the sideways movement and the breakout in September, where we traded strongly to the upside. And since then, we have been accelerating strongly in CDNA. I mean, we had like a also like nearly a three times move in CDNA since the end of September in just four, four months, which is also a quite strong momentum move. When we look at the growth characteristics for CDNA, the EPS growth is not the strongest. It's 14% or well, it's, it's good. It's okay with 14%. But, and the sales growth is very good with 45%. And the relative strength rating is also good with 94. So I think with these characteristics, CDNA is definitely a strong biotech stock for 20, 2021. Okay, so that was it for CDNA. Now let's have a look at the next strong biotech stock for 2021. And it is... TGTX, GG Therapeutics. Here you can see the longer term chart of TGTX. And as you can see, TGTX was in a volatile sideways movement for quite some time. And um, in April 2020, could break out from that sideways movement and trade strongly to the upside and form a nice new uptrend. The short term chart, you see that uptrend here. You can, you can see as well, recently we had a way strong volume coming into the stock and a way strong volume breakout in TG Therapeutics. So it looks like insiders are getting on board in TG. And yeah, now it looks like we are building a high handle here in TG. So yeah, from a technical standpoint, I think TG is looking good here. When we look at the growth characteristics, the EPS growth is 9%, not so strong. And the sales growth is also not so strong, it's zero. But when we look at the relative strength rating, it's okay, or it's good with 93. So I think TG is also, TG Therapeutics is also a strong uh, biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so that was it for TG. Now we come to the last strong biotech stock for 2021, and it is DNLI, Denali Therapeutics. Here you can see the longer term chart of Denali. And as you can see, Denali has been an IPO in December 2017. And after its IPO, it had a long term sideways moving phase until, let's say, around August 2020 where it could break out of that sideways moving phase and trade strongly to the upside and form a nice and strong uptrend. The short term chart, we see that uptrend here. And you can see recently we accelerated to the upside in Denali. And also we made a high here in December 22. And since then we have been correcting or consolidating in Denali and I think so we are currently we are building a base here and i think soon we could break out here and continue with that strong uptrend in denali when we look at the growth characteristics the eps growth is flat with two percent and the sales growth is also nearly flat with four percent but the relative strength rating is good with 92 so i think denali is also a good biotech stock for 2021 okay so these were the biotech stocks for 2021 for today if you are interested in more biotech stocks for 2021 with very strong characteristics 
definitely have a look on my channel where I have part two of the series where I cover five additional strong biotech stocks which have even greater momentum characteristics than these stocks from today. So definitely please have a look on my channel. I think that will that video will be definitely a good, um, uh, definitely very valuable to you if you are interested in biotech stocks. And yeah, thank you for watching that video. And I hope in that video I have some nice stocks for you which you can use for your research. And also please subscribe now to my channel with a link in the description below so that going forward you do not miss any market leading stocks from me. So please subscribe now. And I think this year will be an excellent stock trading year. So I think it definitely pays to watch out for many stocks or, or many market leading stocks because of this all, um, all stimulus going on around the world. I think the stock prices will go higher and higher. So I think it definitely pays to, um, to invest your time in your stock investments. Okay. So thank you again and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.